Sorry about the background noise, but I couldn't resist the opportunity to do this week's Vatarda from Yerushalayim overlooking the old city. When we were engaged, my kala, soon to be my wife, asked me if I would like to order a decorative ksuba that we could hang on the wall in our home like so many couples do. And my immediate response, although honestly I, I probably would do differently today, but my immediate response was, why would I want to put that on the wall? Uh, because much of the ksuba talks about a, a financial and emotional commitment that the chassan, the groom, makes to the call of the bride. But a lot of it talks about, quite frankly, plan B, how much money he owes her in the event they divorce and how much money he owes her in the event that he dies. So I told Udi, why would I want to put that on the wall? Um, with that background, let's discuss the first Pusik in this week's parsha. The parsha begins, Ela Fukude HaMishkan, Mishkan HaEdus. These are the countings of the Mishkan, the Mishkan that, that Hashem made as a covenant with the Jewish people. And Rashi notes in a, in a very uh, a seemingly depressing note, Rashi says that the word Mishkan also has the same letters as the word Mashkan, collateral. And that Hashem said that in advance, Hashem is putting up this Mishkan as collateral in case the Jews sin. That if the Jews sin, he's going to destroy the temple, the Beis HaMikdash, both of them, that's why it says twice, in, rather than destroy the Jewish people. Um, and the question arises, why would this discordant note be brought up now as the Mishkan was being inaugurated? Why don't the Nevi'im talk about this at a later date? Why bring it up now? So I would like to suggest that, in fact, the Ksuba and the fact that the, the Chassan takes an obligation to his wife is a sign of respect. When I checked into this hotel room, I didn't look over the contract. I just signed the paper. Why? Because it's a short-term arrangement. When you buy a home, you look over every word of a contract. You enter into a business. Looking this over is an ultimate sign of commitment. The chas, and I think the most beautiful words of Aksuba is that he says, I'm going to treat you with honor and respect. During my life and beyond, from now until forever, that's the ultimate sign of commitment. And I think that's why Ksuba probably does belong on the wall. And that's what Hashem is really telling the Jewish people. Uh, this Mishkan is beautiful. My presence is going to be here, but it's not more important than my connection with the Jewish people. And God forbid if, if the Jews sin and something needs to be destroyed, uh, the Mishkan will be destroyed before the Jewish people. It's the ultimate sign of love, of the Hashem's eternal love for us, something uh, that we should really treasure. Have a wonderful Shabbos.